All right. Was just coming by to say hi to my friend, but you know what? We just got these new 26 inch wheels in from Red Cat. So I guess I should take a minute to talk about them. Now I ain't gonna lie, they look amazing on mounting. I haven't rode on them, but mounting, just like drift wheels, um, the rim is, uh, you can mount the, the face two different ways so it's staggered. See, you got like a little lip in the front and a little bigger lip in the back and it looks really good that way. Like I said, just for mounting, beautiful. Don't underestimate the spokes. These look beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really loving these. And just to, sh just to, sorry, with the focus, just to show you how much I love them. You know, we're just trying this kit out. <clears throat> like I said, with the rim, you know, you got that size. And a nice little deeper on this side. You know, don't worry about the tread. No one's really paying attention. All right, if they do, I'm pretty sure these aren't glued down. Three different faces. As you can see, I'm running this face really nice, but this face, deep dish, with its center cap looks good. And uh, this is something I swear would probably look great on a 64 Impala. Really beautiful looking face. You know, put some paint in there, you know? Shout out to Miami. You know, I ain't gonna lie, like this is the first place I saw this. My dad lived in uh, Opelaka, Miami Gardens. So I got the chance to see Northern Miami the way uh, a great childhood kid would in the 2000 era, 2000, 1999 era. So to be fair, spokes were the first 20 inch wheel that came out. So if you were anywhere in America in 2001, this was, this was a scene coming. This was it, the gold ones, all right? Even the chrome ones, but you know, gold popped with any stock color. So the gold ones are beautiful. I have pictures I'm gonna put on here with the purple and the gold. You can't go wrong with this. I'm pretty sure the gold um, 26, by the time this comes out, I'm pretty sure that's gonna sell out the, the gold 26s. Uh, the spokes and the the face plates because this you can never go wrong when it comes to building a custom car and putting gold rims on it you know but then we also got you remember this company right here we were running this on the cop car for the longest and they look good but man look at the Dayton yeah I, I like spicy RC Patina's making breakfast what Look at this, man. So, I'm loving these Hunter Spoke Daytons by this dude right here. You know, we took the two tone. I thought the two tone looked good on here, but boy, do these Daytons look amazing. Beautiful wheels, aren't they? Just to let you know, there's speakers in the back of the cop car now. You no more arresting people because he's beating out. <laughs> Shot out to Mob Audio. Beautiful speaker set. We got them in a lot of RC cars. But yeah, these are those. Um, Red Cat modular wheels. Two different offsets. High rise tires. <clears throat> the first 26 model kit for RCs like this. Shout out to Red Cat, you know. They are building a cult following with these low riders. And uh, if you haven't been in this part of the hobby yet, 
take time to check it out in your local store or in your local area because there there are people doing this all over there's gonna be a lot of shows in southern california this year i think ventura is gonna be off the hook and uh rc patina just did a dope one up there in bakersfield so all right check it out let me go hang with this guy and then we'll come back Hey guys, this is Jason over at JJ Customs. Check out the newest addition to the Speedtex tape lineup. They have introduced masking tape for doing all your custom paints, all the way from three millimeter, which is the thinnest for like thin striping, all the way up to 18 millimeter. So we've got you covered, come check it out. Get us online or come on in store. Peace. All right, now that you heard my two cents, Eric, what do you think of this kit that just came out? They came out really nice, dude. Um, the mix and match are really nice to do. And the fact that they're all beadlocks, next level. For, especially for this, you know, low rider industry. So yeah, I like them. Now before this, people were 3D printing their own big wheels. So this is a 3D printed wheel, you know, would go on a 10 scale car now you actually have a real rubber scale wheel and uh what do you think of the detail on the chrome ones yeah they always do a nice job i mean they're the, you could see the the spoke end caps at the end mm -hmm. or i don't know what you call them um the the locks at the end of the spoke and so i mean it's not bad no, it's clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's clean. Um, Red Cat's Chrome, you like their Chrome? Yeah, I I, I don't... Um, this, to me, is too... What's called PP Yellow. <laughs> I think it's too um, too yellow. Uh -huh. But, you know, it should maybe be between um, rose gold and gold. So, like an Indian gold. Yeah, I think it would... Personally. East but, Indian, you know, sorry. Yeah, I wanna... but personally... Yeah, um, like Jesse's are rose gold, and you can, those are you one can, of my favorite wheels right there. You can compare them. Those are one of my favorite sets of wheels. So these are a little bit rose gold, and then uh, T. Dennis has his, which are a little different in gold. So I like his gold. Yeah, his gold. Is so nice. you could see the difference. Yes, in the gold, and then with with Jesse's is a little darker. Yeah. So he has it right at the gold that I like. So, when it comes to these wheels, do you like his cross lace or do you like his 100-spoke straight lace Dayton's? Oh, man. That's a tough one. You know, because these really looked good on the cop car, but, man, these look yeah, good, too. Yeah, I mean, those have those beat these. Yeah. Yeah, 100-spoke Dayton's are really beautiful. I mean, man, with the rims and the tires that are coming out for these models, what do you what do you have to say, <clears throat> man? Dude, they're, they're really doing a great job on, you know, giving accessories to just customize all these cars. And look, he's got the chopped Monte Carlo and look at how those sit on there. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and low. I mean, look at that. Yeah. You know what those wheels will look good on now that I've seen this? Mm. You have the El Camino. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to swap them out and see what that looks yeah, like. And maybe, maybe on the cop car one day, you know? Yeah. You know, until then, I just wanted to take a minute to check out this set. And what's the box for the other one? The, the spoke box? <clears throat> this is how this, just, just some chrome spoked. But you can't go wrong with either set. And I'm pretty sure by the time you guys see this video, the gold is going to sell out because... You know, gold is a real pop in color. So, you know, with that said, man, we'll come back and check what he's building later on. All right, you guys, before I do leave, check these out. What is this? Tell them what we got here. These are the Phantom grills for the 64 Impala. Look at so that. these are 3D printed, and then I spray them glossy black, and then I can, you know, use the chrome paint or the chrome marker. And then these are, uh, these will... You got to cut out the frame from the 64 grill 
and then replace it with this one. So what I do is I sell these online for 65 bucks. If you send me your frame, I'll install it, glue it, and then send it back to you. Mm. If you want it raw like that, it's the same price. So, you know, it's just, you, you gotta send me your stuff. You, you heard how it's done with his link in the info area, but not only is that, these garages are for sale. This garage. Yeah, the display, so this is 48 by 30, uh, no, 48 by 24, or 36 by 24, my bad. So you have the 24 sides, height, and then you have the 36 bottom and back. Not only that, this, uh, how is it with the light? You says um, it has a tint on it. So this, I have a light in here. So I have this light, let me turn it on. See how it makes these look bright? Yeah, so. Um, look at that. Obviously, all the all the stuff that I have on, the, on there is, you know, my stickers and I, I do all that, but they come pretty clean. That is something. And how much are those going for? Um, the These are 95. 95. On my website. All right, and as you can see, like you said. And it comes with a floor. It comes with the sides and the back. There you go. Three walls and a floor, but like he said, you can scale it up. As you can see, it's done with the, the ice machine, the arcade, the stickers, the tire racks. Scale it up. All right, you guys, we'll come back and check him out and see what new builds he's got coming again.